quiet on this set. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello everyone, I'm Dear Myrtle, your friend in genealogy, but you know that this channel's all about creating journals to tell an ancestral story. Previously, I'd shown you possibly the smallest journal uh, in my collection thus far, and now I'm going to show you the one with the largest dimensions. Now, um, this one is for my grandmother Myrtle. It doesn't have a lot of pages. It's just like this, period. But let me tell you a little bit about why it needed to be this size. You'll find out in a minute. So here we have a tuck spot, and it said, my grandmother Myrtle had Lou Gehrig's disease in the last years of her life. She could not speak when I last saw her in March 1972. To communicate, Grandma would write a few words. But why not save paper and use a magic slate? Now, this was a very popular toy in the 1950s. I was excited every year when Santa Claus would bring one to me. And this little stylus may uh, give my grandchildren a clue. It's not a stylus for an iPad, but this is the shape of an iPad. Here's how you use that stylus. You write your message. Hello, on the magic slate, then you pull this out and lift up the slate and it removes this uh, from the wax underneath and therefore erases your words. You can use it again and again. Well, that's what that's about and this is exactly why I needed to have such a large um, dimension for this particular journal. Now, this is a picture of me, Grandma Myrtle in the middle. She can't hold her head up, dear sweet thing. My dad is beaming, and his first grandchild, my first child, Tammy, who's six weeks old. And we are literally holding grandmother up. Blanche, uh, well, we wanted to just take the picture as we would kneel around grandmother's chair where she was sitting. And Stacy, it's one of those turquoise striped uh, chairs that you have upstairs in your office. That's what grandmother was sitting in. But she wouldn't have it. She wanted to stand. We'd already taken a picture of dad and me and the baby. So Blanche helped Grandma Myrtle get there. She couldn't walk. And then we held her up. You can see her hand here on the side of dad. But dad and I were holding her up for this shot, which means so much to me. Um, I wrote about that on the back. Um, uh, then, you know, once Blanche got um, grandma in position, then she stepped back and took the shot. And you'll notice this is before the new cabinets went in, in the kitchen at dad and Blanche's house on Overlake. Um, the cabinets were a pretty turquoise, light aqua color. And this picture may be fuzzy, but it's very precious to me. As And my memories of that visit are not fuzzy at all. So the next thing to do is to take this journal upstairs to my office and place it in the old steamer trunk. So when my grandchildren come to visit, they can explore. So now we will have the ceremonial placement of my grandmother Myrtle's magic slate journal. Nothing left to say, but happy family tree climbing and journaling, everybody. That's a wrap.